So I've been building this Ayaka for over one year now and according to the Akasha system she actually ranks as the top 200 in the world for 130 energy recharge percent which is pretty nice. And today we will be showcasing her with some of the best possible supports to see her maximum full potential. They may be wondering how exactly is this Ayaka ranked top 200 and there's actually a website called Akasha System that I'll link down below and they are connected to the Genshin API or whatever it is to collect all the data like artifacts and characters on players accounts and they have ranked them according to specific criteria. Now this by no means is an official ranking and it actually means absolutely nothing to have my Ayaka in the top 200. So yeah this rank basically means nothing but it can be used to determine in what areas your Ayaka can improve on. Okay, so here's the bold. We have 2,164 attack, 40% crit rate, which is like bare minimum, I would say. 200 Ayaka, please. 278.6 crit damage and 146.4 energy recharge. Now, this energy recharge is quite high because of Zephyr's Moonlight. It is around 133 without it. And then 81.6 cry damage bonus. We are running a cryer damage bonus goblet. And then four please blizzard stray of course. This piece right here is actually my best piece because of the amount of attack percent I get. Even though the crit value is low. I'm running this piece compared to this one because there's more attack, more damage output. And even compared to this piece, there's more damage output. But if I really want to just focus on single targets, I would run this piece, which is my best crit value piece. The only piece that I really need to upgrade is this one. I do have this, but I'm sticking with this one because I don't need the crit rate and this one has attack percent. And we have this piece right over here, 37.3 crit value, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, <laughs> but it's... Uh, it's a pretty good piece. I do have this really nice energy recharge piece, but obviously we want attack percent as the main stat. Probably one of the best pieces on my account is Cryo Damage Bonus Goblet. Now, if I were to run Malt Ganyan Shimanawa, she would probably get this because it's inset. I do have this Cryo Cup over here, which is inset for Ayaka, but obviously we want the best crit ratio or crit value. So we're going with this piece. And then finally, we have a pretty nice, pretty average uh, circlet. Inset, it's got crit rate, energy recharge, and attack percent, which I can't complain about. I would have liked, instead of defense rolls, I would have liked attack percent rolls. Then I would maybe run something with more crit value here. But I'm happy with this bold. It does the job. C6, of course, with a triple crown. Okay, so to give Ayaka the absolute best supports possible, we are running her in her most common free seam so you can replace kokomi with mona to deal more damage but i like to run kokomi because of the hydro application that means with lots of groups of enemies we can make sure they're all frozen for long periods of time so for kazuwa we focused on em i don't have his best insult weapon but we are running zephyr's moonlight and that's what gives our entire party members an energy recharge bonus which is quite nice for shenhua and very nice for ayaka it's not so necessary on kokomi but if i were to swap kokomi with mona it would be very nice and then it does four piece very distant c1 nothing too big about that this is the biggest upgrade to Ayaka and the best support for Ayaka, obviously. We have 4k attack without any Calamity Quella extra stacks over here, which is really, really nice. And we are at 152.9 energy recharge. Again, we are getting a small little bonus from Kazuha, so she should be around 140 plus, maybe 139. Somewhere around there without Kazuha's buff, but because we are running Kazuha, we can include the buff, so she's at 152.9 energy recharge. Artifact wise, it's just attack percent all over the board. I do have this insane, insane crit value piece. I will probably go and shower when I get another attack percent goblet in the set. This is where a lot of my energy recharge is coming from, which is quite nice. And then 12.8, this is very low, but hey, not going to complain. It's in set. And then 19.2% over here. Constellation, as I said, C1, C2 would be really nice, but 15% cryo crit damage, I'm not too stressed about. I would say I'm more interested in getting longer uptime with the burst. And then finally Kokomi. And we are running R5 Thrilling Tails instead of running this weapon over here. What is it called? Prototype Amber. And then for artifacts, we are on four piece tenacity because we just use Kokomi's E and the burst to refresh the uptime of Kokomi's E. So we are going to go around the map, take on some bosses, see how Ayaka performs with this bullet. The top 200 bolt. I'm not going to change the bolt, so I'm not going to put Mona on. So our first boy is going to be the Hydro boy. I think he's Hydro. Oh, it looks like he's Hydro right now. Uh. 
So it's gonna use our burst up straight away. See how much we do. Let's see a 50k. I saw a 50k in there. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I think we could have gone a lot faster if we used other attacks. Okay, so this is phase one of Skaramouche. Alright, that's nice. We don't have C2, so using the Q and that first cut isn't always the best, but that was an 85 charge attack per slice. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, this is the final bit. Let's see if we can iframe this. I don't know what it's called, iframe? Yeah, we did. Alright, so if you switch characters or use those little golden leaves, can kind of skip that animation. They have more time to attack. Because these will spawn in while that animation is going and you can just attack them. Uh, I don't want to use food buffs, so we're just going to go in raw. And we'll focus on using Ayaka's charge attack first. <laughs> 65k damn. Okay, we might not get all the slices in. 153k. Ayaka, wow. Wow, that's no Mona as well. That is that is insane. Okay, so the card, the Abyss Floor 12 Chamber 2 card that we got is uh, after sprinting, we get plus 8%, plus 20% for 8 seconds, I'm not sure. But it's that sprinting one, so... Not the nicest, but we make do with it, you know? Right. Boom. These guys should go pretty pretty quick. I like to go to this guy, kind of get all of them together. And then we can swirl them. I think I may have messed up the rotation. And then we should get Ayaka's burst up now. Alright. Uh, there we go. It should all die. That guy on the edge there we could probably attack, but doesn't really matter. Okay, so the card I have here is the ATEM, so it's not gonna help this at all. Maybe it will help Kazuo, but it's not gonna help us at all. So what I like to do here is I E with Shenhua, then get the straw off. And then we just attack this guy, and that's the rotation we do until he gets into his Thunderbolt rotation. So, 60k, not too bad. We usually get the C6 charge back just on time. So we'll wait a bit before we use it. There, I heard the sound. And there we did 55k, and that's without Shenhua's old E buff. Uh, we're going to use Shenhua. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, but it's fine. We'll try our best. Yeah, for C6 shit, for C6 Ayaka, it doesn't really matter. It's absolutely so much fun and definitely my favorite team.